Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a lip swatch video. So for you, it's gonna be really, really entertaining. And for me, it's gonna be like... Whew. But the lip swatches that I'm gonna be doing is on the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks because I'm really, really excited. I think I've got almost all of the shades, actually. So, um... I'm gonna be swatching these on my lips and tell you about the formula and if they're opaque or not and so on and also just tell you about the different colors because there are so many. If I find any dupes for any of these I'll let you know but um, I think many of the colors are actually really like special and unique which is nice. On Too Faced website it says matte color gets a melt over. Uh, innovative formula glides over lips like a gloss but dries to an ultra matte opaque finish. Infused with a no sting lip plumber and filler, Melted Matte ensures color always looks rich, full and kissable. Never dry, shriveled or cracked. Doe foot applicator comfortably coats lips in bursts of intense, saturated matte color that lasts for hours. Oh my god, sounds good. And details, it is infused with volume lip for no sting, plumping and smoothing to prep lips for matte color. Creamy matte color rich formula wears comfortably, lightweight long wearing formula, features avocado oil, vitamin E and hyaluronic filling spheres. And in each of the liquid lipsticks there are 0.23 fluid ounces in them, so 7 milliliters, and they retail for $21. I've actually already tried one of them and I really like the color and um, it was actually I won't say that it was lightweight on the lips, I actually felt like there was a very thick and rich texture. However, it stayed on for a very long time and it was very opaque, definitely. But we'll just have to wait and see for all of the different colors that I'm gonna go through and see how they look on the lips. Let's just talk about the packaging for a moment. It is definitely very Too Faced-ish, very playful. It's got a golden lid, as you can see, and then kind of like a fat body that kind of like flares out in the end and um, what I personally like is that you can actually see the actual color through the glass here so you can see what color it is so it's easier for you if you're having it with you on the go and so on and if you just want to be quick in the mornings so that I really like it says Too Faced right here and then also melted matte here on the front and on the back with some black um, writing it says the name of the actual liquid lipstick it is very very small so if you do have trouble seeing um, yeah it is a tiny bit small and maybe I would actually have preferred it down here but yeah it all depends on preferences and so on as you can see it comes with a doe foot applicator and what I like is that it angles so it kind of like collects some product in there in the tip but it angles up so you can actually follow the shape of your lips really nicely so in that way it's easier for you to use because it's not too long, it's not too slim, it's just really nice and um, it is not bendable in any way so it's very steady as well to work with. So for you beginners it's very nice and easy to work with. And I think that's all for the packaging, now let's get these different colors on the lips and I'll tell you how they feel, how they look and how I would describe the color as well. And um, without further ado, let's get this off and the other ones on. The first one I'm going to apply is called Me So Pretty. <laughs> me so pretty. It's actually spelled like me so, but it sounds like me so pretty. Me so pretty. Um, me so pretty is not really so pretty on me though. <laughs> um, I feel like that it really washes me out. It's definitely a very pinky, peachy color on me, and it's not that it's not pretty, it's just very, very opaque, and in that way, it looks very. It looks like it washes me out, definitely. That's how I feel. It doesn't really do too much of a nice thing on me. And actually, because it is very, very light, it is not as opaque as I wanted it to be, definitely. It dries down matte, that's for sure. And this is just from one coat. I think that if you apply the second coat, and I'm not even sure if you can do that, but if you did apply a second coat, I'm sure it would be a bit more opaque and not as streaky in the color. But let's just try to apply a second coat of this one and see if that works or not. So here it is after having applied two coats. And you can definitely apply a second coat on top. It doesn't go crumbly, which is a very, very nice texture for me. Which means that you can build up the color if you want it to be a bit more intense. I still feel like that it's got that peachy undertone to it, which makes it a bit more warm than cool. Um, but yeah. It is definitely not for me, if I must be honest. Um, but yeah, that was me so pretty. Why do you have to say it like that? Me so pretty. Me so pretty. Right now I'm actually using an oil to break down the liquid lipstick, so I would definitely advise that as well, because else your lips will go really, really dry. 
um, because they are definitely long wearing. Next one I'm gonna be applying is Cold Feeling Myself. <laughs> Those names though. <laughs> Looks like that in the packaging, kind of like a peachy color. Actually, I think it's kind of like a peachy orangey color on me. Definitely much more opaque and true in color. And um, it took me like one swipe on each lip to actually fill up or to get the lipstick on. And I really like the finish of it. I actually feel like that it's a very nice and fresh color for summer. I really like it. I think it's very refreshing actually. It's definitely a thick texture. I would say even though they say that it's a very lightweight texture, it's still kind of thick. So um, yeah, this is from One Coat and I'm pretty damn happy about it. The next one I'm gonna be applying is the One Coat Sellout. This kind of like a brownie pink I guess, rose brownie pink. Now here is sellout on the lips and this is one of those liquid lipsticks and those colors that I just don't like on myself. I feel like that it's a very 90s kind of lip and even though I do like the 90s, I'm just not into these kind of lip shades on me at least. The color on me in general just makes me look like 50 years older than what I am and that is just not nice but the texture of the liquid lipstick is really nice once again and it was very opaque and um, I really feel like the doe foot applicators they're really easy to work with I know that the application of this one is not perfect but still this is kind of like a quick swatch the color is not for me but the texture and so on is really nice the next one I'm gonna try is called Queen Bee and it looks like a very kind of like mauve color oh hell yeah girl Let's try to get it on. So Queen Bee is on and it looks really pretty. I did think that it would be a bit more grey in the undertone, but it's actually more of a like dusty, mauve shade that's more pink than grey. It's a great like autumn fall shade if you like these kind of berry shades actually. So um it's pretty. You did have to reapply it a tiny bit more to get it more like opaque in color and true in color and not as streaky. My entire lip area looks like crap now. Next shade is gonna be the one called Cool Girl. Such a cool girl. And it looks like this, kind of like a light brown color. So here's Cool Girl on and I think this is my favorite color of those that I've tried so far. It's definitely a very nice brown color on you. Kind of like reminds me of that Kylie Jenner-ish brown color on the lips. Texture and the opacity was really nice as well. It feels very comfortable to wear. This is definitely a winner in my book. Next color is gonna be 1998. These are some of the shades that I never ever wear. However, let's try to get it on. So here is 1998 on the lips. The opacity wasn't the best, if I must be honest. It was definitely also streaky in my mind at least. And these kind of shades, they're just not my favorite. It is definitely a very hot, vibrant pink, as you can see. And it's definitely like out there. I have a hard time figuring out when I would ever wear this color. To some people, this may be like the best color ever. It is just not for me. Next color that I'm gonna try on is called It's Happening. This is happening. It is a bit more of a darker pink, definitely. So here's It's Happening on the lips, and it's definitely way more red in the camera than what it is in real life, actually. In real life, it's much more of a berry pink color, um, and it's actually really flattering. It's not really a color that I would normally wear, but actually seeing it on me, it's actually really flattering. So I really like it and also the opacity was really great again. I'm sorry it starts to stain so bad but they're kind of difficult to get off because they really just set down into the lips. The next one I'm going to try is Bend and Snap. Bend and Snap, Bend and Snap. Oh, beautiful color in the tube. Let's get this one on. Bend and Snap is on. Really pretty color. I'm sorry about the nastiness going on around my lips right now is kind of like getting difficult for me to get it all off because they really dried down. This is a really nice deeper pink berry color. I think it's really pretty. Very wearable for those of you who've got a tiny bit more color in yourself. Also for those of us who are a bit more fair, it is a very very noticeable color. Very sophisticated as well. Next color is gonna be the one called Mrs. Ropa. Ropa? Ropa? Hmm. Ooh, I love this shade. It's kind of like an orangey shade and I love orange. <laughs> so here's Mrs. Ropa on and as pretty as I think the color is, the texture is just not the best. I don't know why, but this just went really, I won't say crumply, but just very uneven on my lips actually. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, it's just like me so pretty, just not as opaque in color as I want it to be, but the, the actual color 
I'm in love. I love these orange lips. I think it looks so pretty. It's very vibrant. It's very out there. It's a very fiery orange and I love that. I love the color but the texture, so-so. The next one I'm gonna try is called Lady Balls. <laughs> Those names, what the hell? <laughs> a beautiful red and I'm really excited. This is by far my absolute favorite of all of the ones that I've tried so far. Lady Balls is such a stunning red. It is like the perfect red Christmas lip, if you get what I mean. Maybe that's why it's called Lady Balls. I can't really fold it, not even with the texture of it. The texture was so nice, very buttery actually, and it just glided on so smoothly. I loved it, I love it, I think it's so stunning. Next color is called Unicorn, and this is such a cute name. And it's purple. Oh my god, I love unicorn! I love unicorns in general, but this is so pretty! It is not as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be, but I actually really like this purple color. It is actually really wearable. Hmm, I like it! And while we're doing the crazy colors, let's try the Who's Zooming Who? I'm zooming you. Mm -hmm. A blue color? I like it. So I do realize that the application is absolute crap, so don't think about how I've applied it, but think about the actual color. I love these really dark, different colors. I love the Too Faced, they've both made some very wearable colors, but also some very intense colors, if you get what I mean. On the viewfinder, it looks kind of like black, but um, it is blue, I promise you. <laughs> Why am I rhyming? Next lip color is gonna be On Point. <laughs> it is actually called On Point, I love that name. Ooh. On point. So here's on point when it's on and it is freaking on point. Love the texture, love the color, it's a deep brownie red. I love these kinds of shades. So on point, it's actually kind of like a boudoir-ish color. Boudoir? 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 I don't know how to say that. Ah, I love it though. Next color is called Drop Dead Red. Color looks really intense. I like that. Oh my god, that's such a color for me. It is so dark, so deep, it's kind of like a witch red, if you get what I mean, that really, really, really dark red. Oh, it looks amazing! Very easy to work with as well, pigmentation on point or opacity on point. Can't fold it, I love it. Two left to go, the second to last one is called Naughty by Nature. I've already tried this one, but for you guys in this video, I'm gonna try it on again. A dark brown and I kind of love that. Naughty by Nature is on and I love this shade, really pretty, a very deep dark brown that goes like <clears throat> on your lips. It's a very intense color. So I feel like that all of the darker shades from the Melted Matte um, Liquid Lipstick Collection, they're so much more opaque in color and so much more like easy to work with. And it's time for the freaking last one. I look like a freaking mess, but the last one is called Evil Twin. Hee <laughs> hee. I love it. This is probably, together with the red one, my two favorites. So stunning. It is so intense, so dark, so black browny. It is just so beautiful on. I know once again this kind of like splits the waters. Some people they love these shades and some people they absolutely hate them. I'm one of those people, I love them. I think they're so cool, so different, and I love those kind of like different colors. Nothing bad to say, just love, 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 and um, once again, really easy to work with with the application and everything like that. Glide it on so smoothly, and the color speaks for itself. And ending with this really dark lip, that was actually all for these um, lip swatches. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you're looking for some different colors, I want to try out the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. As you could hear, some of them were very opaque and some of them were kind of like different in texture. But I do feel like that most of the colors were really great in pigmentation and also in texture. I actually really enjoyed most of them and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Bye! <laughs>